You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. Another great show today. And please remember the subscribe button down below for CNA TV. As sunrise breaks into daylight, I smile, trips down memory lane. My hope is that by sharing with you, my fellow traveler, I will have enriched your journey. Enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. Life is now in session. Friendship, family, acts of generosity and self-sacrifice, affecting the life of even one person in a positive way, we make a difference in the world. I am often reminded of my May 1st video when I showed the difference Doc McCracken made, a country doctor during the Depression, how his life made a difference for the good of so many people. Hmm. I suspect we all know the feeling of being a supporting actor in other people's lives. A friend is undergoing chemotherapy for cancer and we visit her, drive her to an appointment. Her life is a drama, life or death struggle. We're in the background, doing what we can to make things turn out well. We have two worlds, a world that honors people for being attractive and productive. It's a world that reveres winners and scorns losers. Fortunately, there's another world. Its heroes are models of compassion rather than competition. In that world, you win through sacrifice and self-restraint. You win by helping your neighbor and sharing with him rather than by finding his weakness and defeating him. When I was young, I spent energy devoted to getting and spending. My world now seems like a mere image of my first world. Now a world where old people are respected for their wisdom and experience. As were the old ideas and old values. A world where people are described as beautiful because they exude compassion and generosity rather than wealth and glamour. Success has a very different meaning here. As I grew older, I came to admire kind people. The nicest feeling in the world is to do a good deed anonymously. If I affect the world in some small but real way, this shows my life matters. We don't have to find a cure for cancer. We only have to share our lives with other people. Few of us can do great things, but all of us can do small things with love. We've all seen the movie, It's a Wonderful Life. Maybe it's corny with impossible noble heroes, <laughs> but at the heart of the movie is a valid and vital message. George Bailey, a small town banker who always does the right and generous thing and whom everybody loves. But through a combination of other people's mistakes and other people's greed, 
His bank is about to fail. He is distraught. He thinks he's worth more to his community dead than alive. A guardian angel is sent to rescue him. And when he tells the angel the world would be better off if he had never been born, the angel decides to show him what it would be like if he had never existed. Had it not been for George, the local pharmacist would have gone to prison and ended up a broken down panhandler instead of a prominent member of the community. George's younger brother, whose life he saved in a sledding accident, and who went on to become a war hero, would have died at the age of eight, and the soldiers' lives he saved would have died young as well. The woman George married would have grown up to be a dowdy old maid. And of course, his children and their future children would never have been born. The point the movie is making is that George, who once dreamed of doing something big and important and felt like a failure because he thought he hadn't, had in fact done a lot of important things changing many people's lives for the better. Each person's life touches many others. If they're not there, it leaves a hole. This story reminds me of NACA and CNAs. One of my favorite quotes on compassion from George Washington Carver. Be tender with the young and compassionate with the aged because someday in your life you will have been both of these. I feel that our lives have mattered. I find it in the work we've done, the acts of kindness we've performed, the love we have given and the love we have received, the people who will smile when they remember us. My final thought. A little girl lost her playmate in death and one day reported to her family that she had gone to comfort the sorrowing mother. What did you say? asked her father. Nothing, she replied. I just climbed up on her lap and cried with her. Oh, compassion. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.